guys welcome back beautifully belly hair with another video if anybody's new to my video hey boo hey we accept everybody here please uh, feel free to comment share like and subscribe today's video is going to be four tips on how to navigate the dispensary if interested keep watching all right guys so let's jump into the video all right so tip number one please know that if you sign up for a patient consultation, that's when you, you're you new to the um, dispensary, when you go fill out your paperwork and you actually go sit down with someone to have a consultation, please know that that person will not recommend any medication for you. They will not recommend a, a strand or anything. So please keep that in mind. Tip number two. Oh, and I do have my notes, guys. Tip number two. Do your research before going to the dispensary. This is so, 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 so important for a number of reasons. Reason number one, if you're new to going to the dispensary, probably the world of medical marijuana is new to you. Maybe, right? So what my recommendation would be is to one, if you know what dispensary you're going to, go on the website before going, maybe the day before you can go on the website um to check to see one what their prices look like remember guys medical marijuana is not covered by insurance you will have to pay out of pocket and the worst thing you want to do is to just to go in blindly not knowing you know what the prices are how what's their running what is your budget things like that so make sure that you go on the website prior um, and check the prices. Make sure that you stay within your comfort zone because you can end up spending a light at the dispensary. Um, the second reason why you want to do research, you want to check strands. Say if you're a person who has anxiety, right? And say you're new to the world of medical marijuana, you're not going to know what strands um, may affect you in a positive or negative way. Therefore, it's really important to do your research. So as you're on the uh, dispensary's website say that you see a strand it might be the name of the strand that makes you say oh I want to try that what you want to do is make sure you write that name down you want to google it or use the leafly app um, and then either one of those places it will tell you what um, what the lineage is, lineage of the strand is what's the positive effects, what's the negative effects, and what conditions it treats. If you are a person with anxiety and one of the negative effects says anxiousness or paranoia, most likely you should stay away from that type of stuff. The third reason why it's important to do your research before going, this is still tip number two, guys. I just want y'all to make sure that y'all following me. The other reason why it's important to do your research before going it can save you a lot of time. I cannot tell y'all, when I first started going to the dispensary, it would take me an hour just to go find out what I want, make sure it's in my type price range, and then you have to fit, um, make sure that people aren't just selling you stuff just to sell it to you. You want to make sure when you're going to the dispensary and you're spending your money that you're actually getting the medicine that you need. That's why it's important to research. Okay? Tip number three. Get to know the staff. Get to know the staff, guys. I can't tell you how big of a tip this is. One, you'll find out what staff is knowledgeable versus which one is not. Let me tell you guys now, there are people who work at the dispensary who are not medical marijuana patients, and there are also people who, do, um, who work at the dispensary who do not use mar marijuana at all. So just imagine going into somewhere and, and you run into a person who's not a patient, they're not going to be able to um, recommend stuff for you because they don't really know the effects, right? So that's one, how you get to find out who knows what versus who doesn't. The other good thing about knowing staff, once you go a couple of times, they recognize your face, they know your name, they're going to know what you're coming in for. If you're an indica person, a sativa person, a hybrid person, a topical person, a capsule person, an edibles person, oil person, they will know. Therefore, it's easier for them to recommend stuff. Also, staff always knows, um, they always know when deliveries are going to come. 
So they might say, hey, um, come in on Monday and, you know, we're having a sale or come in on Monday, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Or say something comes in. Like for me, I remember um, one time at the dispensary I go to, they had a Girl Scout cookie flight box. And the flight box had the Girl Scout cookie um, sugar or wax and then it had another sugar wax and it came with like some tools and stuff so I would have never known that if that staff member never informed me of it okay um, and tip number four sorry guys always double check your order before going home always do this you don't have to stand in the dispensary and do it like what I'm saying is where the bud tenders are, you don't have to double check then. But you definitely want to double check before you leave the premises because some dispensaries do not allow you to bring stuff back. And the things you want to check for is, um, is my order right? Are there tamper seals? Like some, I had an issue before with um, a product. I won't say what brand it was, but I want to buy the the product it was more expensive than than the other tinnitures that I used this one was $70 versus $50 and when I got home there was only like this much in it and it was supposed to be a 30 ml and the seal was broken so you want to make sure that you're checking for those tamper proof seals because you never know guys people could be opening you know you definitely want to check um, you want to make sure the correct they gave you the correct strand um, that they have tamper seals and that the price is right that you got the right amount of money back or whatever the case may be so guys I didn't want to hold you too long I just wanted to give you the four tips on how to navigate the dispensary I hope this information was helpful um, again please remember to comment share like and subscribe and yeah, if no one told you that you're enough today, guys, you are just the way you are with no strings attached. Oh my God, what's going on with my lighting? I'm sorry. And if no one told you today that they love you, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and blessings. Until the next one.